Damn. And I, I also believe to some extent in the idea of uh, herd immunity where your body is supposed to be exposed to certain things. Yeah. I mean, the way we create a vaccine is by exposing an organic life form to this and then and then developing the, and, 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 and transforming the antibodies off it. Yeah. So I, I believe in some way to that extent. But I also recognize that um, that every every health professional that understands that same mentality has said, hey, this is pretty fucking bad. This is a real thing. Yeah. We need to take care. I mean, like, the, the argument has to go out the window now that, like, well, people die every day from the flu. Uh, 130,000 people well have died in that. four months. Okay. 28,000 people last year died of the flu. So yeah. we're well past that argument. That argument is bunk. Um, the other argument I love is, well, the government can't tell me to wear a mask. And it's like, okay, okay. It's the, it's the other people around you who are too afraid to just ask you to wear a fucking yeah. mask and be an adult about it. Like, look, well, the, it's not fun, but I'm sorry. Uh, when I go into public places now, I fucking put it on. I, it's, it's yeah. the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. Well, I was telling Thomas, there's been a lot of pushback against it, but like, there's the, you know, the, oh, they can't tell me I can't wear, or I have to wear a mask. But then they're the same people who, when a business is like, hey, sorry, you're not wearing a mask, you're not allowed in here, freak out. Like, you can't deny my right to come into your place and eat. Yes, like, we okay, can. Okay, but you're also the same people who voted yeah, to yeah. deny yes, gay people from You know, that, able to get that sign behind the bar want. that says we have the right to refuse <laughs> service to any, to anyone. Yes, we can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have your right to not wear a mask, and I have my right to not fucking serve not you. Not fucking serve it's, you because it's you can't thing. have your right without me having my right. <laughs> and it's, it, it, it really goes back to, and I know that we talked about this on another episode. It really goes back to like what great privilege you must have to just insinuate that your right to go out and have a craft beer. And look, we all know I like having craft beer. I know y'all like going out and having craft beer. That's not a right. That's a privilege. Okay, that's a fucking privilege. You don't yeah. get to take your privilege and put it over everybody else's right to exist safely and to exist soundly in their own in their own place. When exactly. everyone else around you is wearing a mask and you're the one being like, you can't tell me to do that, guess what? You're the fucking problem. You're the problem. You're and the you're asshole. the reason that some institutions <laughs> might are, are in, 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 in the threat of getting shut down again. Yeah. Again. Yep. Small businesses barely well, made it through the last time and Congress did a piss poor job of taking care of them. Granted, they did something. What's going to happen on the second go around? And it's all because people well, are like, I want to have people. a fucking summer break. You know, I want to fucking have a good time. Fuck you. Well, it's the same people who are protesting for businesses to reopen who are now doing fucking everything imaginable to make them have to shut down again. Right. Exactly. Well, and again, we, we talked about this. It's not, it was never about the right to go back to work for those people. Our, our kind of people, service industry, it was always about the right for that privileged person to go back to having a normal life. I always get yep. my nails done on Friday. I get my hair cut every other Thursday. I, 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 I get my you don't have any right to I tell don't me care that. about the haircutters, I'm grandma. I'm doing the southern accent even though I live down there because that's a lot of those fucking people. Mm-hmm. But it is the sense of privilege that your life, that your the, the what you've constructed as your life is so goddamn fucking important. And I've seen it mm-hmm. so much this summer already. Thank you guys for just letting me get that out. It's good <laughs> to see you both. But Jesus fucking Christ, you know. Josh, in a, in a weird way, solidarity. It feels good to know you're going through it too. I wish we all dude. weren't going through this, but God, hey, it man. fucking blows. To um, just, uh. dude, people have been pissing me off left and right at work. Like I love being back to work, but fuck, people coming in like talking about how this. I we we have a rule basically. We're not allowed to talk about masks at J Dub now, right? Like. You know, yeah. yes, we encourage yeah. people to wear them. We're doing our best. Also, the poli- the state of Oregon has said we don't want employees having to police this. So if you see it, report it, but don't confront customers. I'm like, okay, so I have to let people into my establishment not wearing masks. But if LLCC comes in and sees someone in our establishment not wearing a mask, we get dinged for it. But at the same time, I'm not supposed to confront them Which about the fact right. that they're not wearing a fucking mask. You're just mask. supposed to be secretive so, and then later on report it. <laughs> just a so vicious, at this point, vicious like, cycle. Most of our customers are wearing masks. Most of them are being respectful. There's a handful that aren't, but they're just walking through quickly and fucking see them at their table and try not to pay attention to it. But it's like, I'm just, oh, dude. And then they're bitching. They're like, oh, you should just take your mask off because it's stupid anyways and it's not helping you. I'm like, oh, believe me. I I would take this mask off if I could. I heard that the other day. I went down to Sacred Waters to drop off beer and to shoot the shit with other brewers. I walked in, mask on to be respectful because I know they're all wearing masks. You know, and this guy's at the countertop being like, 
is it hot under there? You know, Jan, the bartender's like, yeah, it is. And she, he goes, well, you should just take that bullshit off. And it's like, all right, dude. All right, hold on. You, you, you do whatever dipshit idea comes into your head, but don't shut up. Like, that's not even her choice. I mean, and, and granted, if it was her choice, she'd still be doing that. Like, she's doing that for you, dude. She's doing that for everyone around you. She comes into contact with 500 people a day. You're the least of her worries, and she's still doing that for you. These people do not understand the stress this is putting on the service industry to do this right. And I've well, already... and then I start to think about things like, so you guys are all, as front of house employees, exposed to consistent amount of customer contact. Right. And in certain kitchens, bonsai is probably a little bit better, but backslope, whoever's working that pantry spot is literally like touching... Yeah. Servers, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we're constantly washing our hands. We're, 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 we're you well, know. It's a chain. I mean, we're all, we're all in contact with one another. We're, we're, in, in a restaurant alone, you're in close proximity with everybody that you work with all the time. All yeah. the time. And, and don't get me wrong. I love everybody that I work with. And, and I love the, the, that has actually been the draw to me is, is that the, the, every restaurant I've worked at has always been my family. You know, at yeah, that point exactly. in time, I'm, I'm tight with all those people. I go out with those people. I, I laugh, I cry, I sing with those people, I get hammered with those people, I barbecue with those people. So, yeah, it's the fact that people are pushing back, even pushing back not only on themselves wearing a mask, but pushing back on the fact that servers are are being asked by their staff, their team, and their restaurant to wear masks and saying they shouldn't do that. Do you understand how many people down that food chain you're affecting? Right. All, all of them. Everybody. Also – Everything. I will say I missed a lot of what you just said about sacred water. Shit got super laggy for a second, so I swapped internet. Oh. But um, I had a dude the other day who came in, and he was trying to tell me how masks are ineffective because you can catch COVID with your eyes, too. <laughs> I love when the argument turns to, like, well, there's other ways you can get it, and it's like, right? That, that's not the that's not the point. That's not what we're talking. about. You know what? About. I'm not going to catch COVID with my eyes because of because if you're wearing a mask, you can't breathe it onto my fucking oh, my eyes. Fucking <laughs> you dummy. The mask is effective. Yeah, what are you are you talking about? Like rubbing eyeballs together? How close do you want to get to my face? Well, and just the, the the fact that you divert from one effective thing to like this other thing. Like, well, what if you can get it from toe jam? Should we all be wearing masks on our toes? And it's like, look. If 130,000 people died from what my toes are giving off, yeah, I'd I'll have, probably I'd have put to on change, socks and shoes. I'd have to change my foot protocol right now, which, yeah. by the way, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yep. I'm free balling it right now because it's summertime in Montana and it feels great. But oh fuck yeah, always. you know, um, it it's so funny in a weird way that this whole thing revolves around a conversation we used to have in kindergarten, which is just like, hey, after you touch something dirty, you wash your hands, you know. And yeah. it, it's it, it's th- there are these very simple things that are being asked of people right now. Although the funniest thing I did here was someone was walking out of the Remington bathroom the one night, and uh, I think I was there for this. Dude, dude was like, someone said it was just like, "You're not gonna wash your fucking hands, dude." And he's like, "My," he's like, "I showered today. My dick's cleaner than anything in this fucking bathroom." That is actually a good retort. <laughs> I do, I do respect that. <laughs> And, 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 just, and, and, and we've always talked about I, I respect the George Carlin mentality of it, where it's like you know when I wash my hands when I get fucking shit on when I get shit on which is like on. three four times a week and again I do appreciate the idea of herd immunity it, it is a, it is a natural factor that oh, when yeah. you disperse we, we ate dirt and bugs as kids yeah, you know we're, we're fine, all right now we're all right um, but that being said again we have to go back to we're being asked to do some very simple things every so often make sure you wash your hands with warm water and soap right now. And hey, if you're going to be in a place where a lot of fucking people could be breathing on one another, just wear a cloth face covering. They've got some dope ones now. I bought a buff that literally looks like I have a handlebar mustache when I pull it up. It's tight, yep. you know. Mine, mine has a Cheshire cat smile yeah, on it. It's fucking, it's fine, you know. Like, just do it. Yeah, just do it. Just, it's do not it. fucking Ugh. complicated. It's not hard. It's not going to kill you. It's not. Making you breathe you know, in your own fucking you wanna, CO2. You know why I, I don't wear masks into some places? Because I fucking forget to put it on. Mm-hmm. Not because, totally. like, it's always in my truck. Like, I always have it with it. I'm not going to drive totally around with that. it on. But, yeah, there are some times where, like, I'm right. in a rush to go grab something. Like, oh, I'm just going to run and grab I a pack of smokes. The corner store. And I'm just like, Things oh, shit. Happen. Things will happen. And people should not be shamed if th- things like that are happening. That being said, you can't just forget to put it on when you stroll up to the bar anymore. 
Like if you're if you're going to the corner store, if you're running in to grab a gallon of milk and you fucking forget it, I totally understand. Yeah. But when you are doing a voluntary action to benefit yourself and you walk into an establishment and you see that everyone else is doing it, you have a moral obligation to turn your ass around, go back to your car and put it on. Yep. And I and I really yep. believe that. And I'm not oh, saying yeah. that I haven't yeah. been hypocritical about that. No, nope. I, it, I totally a, agree. It's been a learning I totally curve for agree. everybody. But it's it's yep. at that point now, it really is, and especially in Montana here where we kind of want to be I mean, I kinda of get upset every time I see an outside license plate right now. And uh, I know that a lot of the rest of us do too. Perpetually. Um if we're gonna stand oh, on yeah. that hill, we also have to stand on that we can't be the ones that then be like, But it's our home, so that's why I'm not wearing a mask. Like, no 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 no. No 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 no. We all have to do it. No 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 We no, no, all no. have to do it, you know. We're all, we're all, the only reason I'm not doing it right now is because it probably wouldn't feed well through the microphone, but it's in, it's in my car on the fucking dashboard. Yep. You know? I think I took yep. one out of my truck so I could wash it. Yep. Yeah. And I bought two extras stinks. so I don't have to. It does stink, dude. I have burped into my mask so yeah. many fucking times. It's gross. Yeah. 